Hi, welcome to this video here on current transformers. I uh, just want to get into, you know, what they are, what they do, what you can use them for really quickly, uh, just a basic video. So current transformers, you know, like this one drawn here, are used to safely measure the current of a larger circuit. So we see them a lot in revenue metering. We can see them to tell if a load is running, to actuate automated sequences and something else. There's lots of different applications for current transformers, but we're more talking about the revenue metering. So what a power supply company is using to meter your equipment so they can give you a bill. Now, uh, anything over 200 amps needs revenue metering or CTs and PCs or instrument transformers or 320 amps if it has a bypass means and that's here in Canada. And it's just to isolate from the high voltage. So a couple different types, right? There's a wound primary or a bar type, which looks similar to this one, kind of drawn like this. Current flows through, the meter is in series, and that steps it down to a safe current, almost like a step up transformer would, higher voltage, but a much lower current that is safe. Uh, or there's the torrid type, which is like this, a donut, right? You run the conductor through, magnetic fields will work which is also very similar to your clamp on ammeter, right? Conductor goes through, current flows, it uses a CT in order to tell you what current is there. So now the idea with this is one thing to know when you're installing any of these, right? There will be some type of a white dot on them. There actually isn't on this one, but it says H1. There'll be a white dot on them and that should go towards your source. That would be your H1 of the current transformer, right? Same thing on this one. We can see the little white dot there. Now, I install that, perfect. How does it work? Well, like I said, it'll have some type of rating. So let's say in this you know, circuit, maybe this is a main service and maybe the rated current on this is actually 1200 amps, All right? So 1200 amp rating. Sorry. Uh, so 1200 amp rating, great. Well, the secondary of this current transformer is going to be rated in five amps. So that's what it's going to bring it down to. So that makes it safe, easy to read, and it can be then be input into a watt meter for metering. So in this case, I mean, to get into a calculation of how that would work, how would I use my value here on my CT in order to know what my actual current is flowing on my primary? Well, like I just said, this is a 1200 amp to five amp CT, right? Um, I, the ones I showed you were 10 to one, or 10 to five, sorry. And this is exactly that, 1200 to five amps. So this would be the exact CT that you could have in this example here. Now, that would be, if we do break down the math, that's a 240 to one ratio, right? I just took 1200, divided by five, 240 to one ratio. Now let's just say, hypothetically for our example here, my ammeter reads 4.13 amps. Okay, my ammeter's reading 4.13 amps. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna take that 4.13 amps and I'm gonna multiply it by my ratio, by 240. That means in this circuit, there is actually 991.2 amps flowing on the primary. And keep in mind, as the primary current goes up, just like a transformer, the secondary current goes up. So it's rated for, if there's 1200 amps flowing on the primary, five amps flowing on the second. That's how that rating works. They are proportional to each other. That's great. That would be how you would do a calculation with a CT. And of course, I'm gonna link another video at the end that has some more CT and PT examples. So keep a lookout for that. Um, but there's something that matters safety wise with these current transformers. So because of the nature of the transformer, the super high voltage uh, winding, they actually can never be open circuited. So what that means is on CTs, what you'll see is you'll actually see something that you can 
If you have to uninstall it live or disconnect it from the circuit in any way, you can actually short it out. What you'll also see is that a transfer switch used to switch between CTs for one single ammeter transfer switch looking something like this. They will actually be a make before break set of contacts. So they're gonna short circuit a CT before they close on another CT. So before they open that CT out of the circuit, they're actually gonna close. So that's something to keep in mind about CTs. Um, and yeah, that's kind of everything I have here to say about CTs. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have yourself a great day.